A sleepless night in the city No peace and quiet in the city It's hotter than the water from a boiler In the basement of hell In this low and wack of broken down hotel Cracks on the ceiling, black head on my back, and I feel them lower than the roaches in the tunnels of the one in the night. And the clock tells me that I'm half past losing my mind. Through the tick tock tick, I can hear the bars a drip when the neighbors brawl. I can hear them through the wall, but I'm waiting. Cause I want you I want you back again I can't remember when You and I were one And I want to I want to change your mind So I'm gonna buy my time Bear my misery Till you come to me hey, 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 yeah. I know Sarah Road This is when it gets so suffocating This is heavy like the weight of my regret Forever letting you go And it don't matter whether the windows are open or closed there's a beep, beep, beep from the traffic in the street And a bang, bang, bang like a hammer in my brain Cause I'm fading, going crazy Cause I want you, I want you back again I can't remember when you and I were one feel it. <laughs> How about that? I mean, what's better? Is it better that someone has no fucking idea who you are and just thinks like, oh my god, this is so good? Or is it like somebody read about you in some blog and like acts like you're fantastic because they want to know somebody famous? This is better. So tell, tell, tell us all where we can hear more of your music. Oh, uh, well, my name is Spencer Day, and I'm, I'm a songwriter here in New York, and it's just spencerday.com, so you can hear S-B-E-N-C-E-R-D-A-Y. 
Nice Mormon name. Oh my God, another Mormon? Yeah, I know, but Mormons are huge right now. We're very big. Did you see the big article about how Mormons dress? How to be a contemporary Mormon and look cool, but still not get killed by your religion? No, that's not true. <laughs> it's in today's times! People, the synchronous... Who saw that in the, in the times today? Well, you know, of course, Jim Ferrat would have seen it. Do any of you read newspapers, or are you just only like... I'm on my Kindle. All right, but did you see the article about... Did you see the article about how to be a cool Mormon? I'm serious. Yeah. Oh my God, you've got to look at it when you get home. We, we had, ar had articles. Oh, I, don't ha I didn't get the special underwear because I didn't go on my mission. I was a week away from going and I moved to San Francisco ah. instead. So, uh, but uh, we, we, we um, had something called the Ensign, which was like the youth digest, and it told you how to dress modestly but still look good. And, and they had articles growing up. It was, uh, it was uh, great. So do you have a record album? I do, yeah, yeah. What's the name of it? Uh, well, the new one I'm doing is called Somewhere on the Other Side, and it's all like Roy Orbison. Six oh, you were know thinking. I was like having, when you were doing this song, it's such a good song. I really, really loved it. It was very, very solid. You know, it's so good to hear a good song because there's so much crap. But it was so Bobby Darren meets Van Morrison. You know what I mean? Like, it had that, like, you know what I mean, Jim? You know, look at Jim Ferrat is here, like, not only, you know, did he start Danceteria, but he's been involved in fucking music for the past... Hundred years. No, well, the past 40, 40 years, solid 40 years, like a lot of the shit that you like happened because of him. And yet he's here, Yay. having having an extraordinary Spencer, Spencer Day. Spencer Day, yeah. Spencer Day moment. You're probably here because of Spencer No, Day. it's a surprise. Oh, you mean you're just experiencing yes, him? first time. Really incredible, yeah, right? Incredible. Surprise for me, too. Yeah. Surprise for me, too. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so we're so excited. Spencer Day, and you can get it, like, the record, it's like records at CD Baby type thing. D-A-Y, not D-E-Y. And when you go home, Google Mormons plus New York Times and read about the... The poor Mormon youth. They have special underwear that they wear with a big U in the front. With a U in the front, right? Oh my God. It says things about the Mormons. They, they look kind of like 1920s bathing suits. They're like onesies, and then they're like, you, you can only wash them in special things, and they have flaps, so for when you fuck, you um, can have coitus without you know show, showing off your shameful body. Which is important to Mormons. Wow, like the Hasid. The Mormons are the Hasidim of the Midwest. Yeah. Fucking through a hole. Oh my God. Oh, Spencer, it's fascinating. Um, do the Mormons worship the white salamander, or is that is that est? Or is that Scientology? I think that's Scientology. Mor Mormons b consider themselves Christians. They basically think of the Book of Mormon as like a meanwhile in the Americas. It's basically on the three days that Jesus went missing from the tomb, he took a tour and went to visit all the Native Americans who were, interestingly, all very white in the pictures you see of them. Because there were two tribes, the Nephites and the Lamanites. And the Excuse me, people. We are now having theology, okay? <laughs> Like, in other words, you could make yourself into an interesting person by being an interested person and hearing something new. Not only look at the container that Spencer Day comes in, you are getting what Jack Smith dreamed of. Jack Smith dreamed, Jack Smith said, could art ever be useful? So he imagined Gary Cooper making yogurt or, you know, Lana Turner giving a civics lesson, right? Now you have Spencer Day giving a theology lesson. We will now continue with the precept of the Mormon faith, which is so fascinating because these people are out of their minds, okay? They build buildings like Disneyland, okay? This is brilliant.
Okay. Um, so, so when uh, Jesus came over, there were two tribes. All you know, and if you get a Book of Mormon, you can see the pictures of the white Native Americans with their makeup on, climbing up the Aztec steps. You know, and um, there were two tribes: the Nephites and the Lamanites. And the Lamanites were very sinful; they liked to sacrifice and have orgies. And so God cast a shade on their skin to remind them and their ancestors of all their um, transgressions, which is why we have dark people. And, and racism! And according, to, according to the Mormon faith, and even when I was 10, I was like, that shit's racist. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you learn something new every day, so that's all I have to tell you about. Oh, thank you. So brilliant. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. So brilliant. Really. Love you, love you singing. He's like Bobby Darren, people. He can